Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anna and today we'll be talking about all the releases of 2024. Let's get going. I I believe I did do this version, but this is like a more updated version if you will. So let's see all the good books I have and I have a lot of them so I'm probably not going to get through all of them. But let's see what we have. So my first book is The Woman in the Obsidian by Radhika Sharpa. It will come out on January 1st, but as always, keep in mind, every changes will be made. And it is an epic magical tale set against the backdrop of the final days of the Aztec Empire. A reimagining of the life of Malina La Luxuto, otherwise known as La Malinich and Noah, warrior priestess and trading caught between two vicious men, both of whom have wronged her and her people. So that's kind of fun. I never read anything I think in a fantasy before, so it's going to be interesting. My next book is The Whisper Between Worlds by Amanda Foody. It is also expected to come out on January 1st. A lighthouse stands at the edge of the worlds, gu guiding voyages between them and maintaining the balance of the universe. When the lighthouse master vanishes without warning, his duties passes to his assistant. Dillian Hadlock, and though Dillian shares his mentor's power, the greatest magic in all the realms, he utterly lacks the charisma and charm needed to navigate the tumultuous political affairs of each world. And despite Dillian's every effort to find a lighthouse monster, the trail has quickly gone cold. My next book is The Shadow Reigns by Patrick Calwell, and is also exp on September 1st, 2024. Set in the aftermath of a war between vampires, humans, and the gods that created them, the duology opened the full of vampire princess who teams up with the seer, who only has visions of death. To journey to the island of the dead, a mythical place where all souls go at the end, to save her kidnapped best friend. So, I'm not a really huge fan of vampires books, but I'm hoping this will be good. My next book is What Monster is Gods by Rosamund Hodge and is coming out in March 5th. Centuries ago, the heretic saucer Ruven raised a daily briar around Munakia's palace, casting the royal family into enchanted sleep and silencing the kingdom's god. Born with a miraculous gift, Leah's destiny is to kill Ruven and wake the royals. But when she succeeds, she finds her duty is not yet complete. For now, she must marry into the royal family and forge a pact with the god, or die. To make matters even worse, Lemon's spirit is haunting her. I feel like this is like a retail of Sleeping Beauty. I couldn't be wrong, but, but um, it sounds really cool. So the, my next book is The Sun Barrel Sequel by Aiden Thomas, and it's expected to come on January 1st. That's all that we have so far. Uh, this is the sequel to The Sun Barrel which I have read. I thought it was okay, but I'm not sure if I'm going to read the sequel. My next book is The Celestial Kingdom No. 3 by Su Lin Tan, who is the author of Daughters, Daughter of the Moon Goddess. And is also expected maybe next year. At least that's what I see so far. Otherwise, we have no updates at all. And my next book is also number 3 in the Burning Kingdoms trilogy by Tasha Sodi. She's the author of The Jasmine Throne, and this book is coming out January 1st next year. I have read the first book. Honestly, it, no, I just couldn't get into it, unfortunately, so I just might not read this regardless. <laughs> and my next book is from Madeline Miller. She's also writing A Retelling of Shakespeare, The Tempest. So that's really interesting. I have never read anything other than Romeo and Juliet we told, so reading about the Tempest is going to be fun. And it's expected to come out on January 1st. And we also have another book by Jennifer State, and this one will feature about Hannah. And this will also expect it to come out January 1st. I have Love and Atlanta, so maybe this book will be amazing as well. Because damn, and Jennifer got skills to write, so I'm hoping this book will be good for me. My next book is To Gaze Upon Wicked Gods by Molly X. Chung. In this magical epic fantasy, a young woman cursed with the power of death must decide if saving her family is worth betraying her country. 
So that sounds fun. My next book is These Deadly Prophecies by Andrea Tang. A teenage sorceress apprentice must solve her boss's murderer in order to prove her innocence in this twisty magic infused murder mystery. So this is this is being compared to Knives Out and the Inheritance game, so if you like those books, you will most likely like this book. It will come out on February 6th. And I don't think I have mentioned the other book, so let me look at it. So, to engage of poor wicked gods, it will come out on April 9th. Oof, I'm getting way too ahead of myself. <laughs> My next book is The Temptation of Magic by Megan Scott. Nicole Palmer has needed to study the supernatural art in a local Cornish manor for years. Encoded in it is the last message from her mother on how to stay safe from the wake. The organization that governs all supernaturals. As an embryo, Nicole has the ability to hunt and kill all dangerous creatures, making her invaluable. But if her power was ever triggered, they would find her, use her, and then kill her, like they did her mother. So this comes out on September 1st. It kind of reminds me of the version for some reason. My next book is A Tempest of Tea by Habsha Fazil. On the streets of White Warwick, Arthur Casimir is a criminal mastermind and collector of, her, of secrets. Her prestigious tea room tra transforms into an illegal bloodhouse by dark, catering to the vampires feared by society. But when her establishment is threatened, Arthur is forced to strike an unlikely deal with an alluring adversary to save it, and she can't do the job alone. And this comes out on February 20th, and he is the author of We Hunt the Flame Duology, I believe it is. So, I'm really excited. I haven't read the sequel of We Hunt the Flame, but I did read the first one. I found it okay. I think there was something lacking in it. But I'm hoping this new book he's writing is going to be good. This book is kind of like a novella from what I can tell. It is The Celestial Kingdom 2.5. It's called Tales of the Celestial Kingdom by So Lin Tan. And Kelly Chong is the illustrator. Ooh, that's exciting. So it's about like Tales from the Celestial Kingdom collects nine spellbinding stories. Two previously published seven original, including the epilogue to the duology. Set in the chanting world, filled with magic and mythology of friendship and love, these stories intertwine through the past, present, and future of the two novels, told from the perspectives of multiple characters, including Shangyi, Zhuo Zhao, Li Li, and Wen Zi. So, it comes out on family 6, and now I'm excited about it. The cover is like really, really pretty. I was, of course, showing up, but like, all the purple and pink just pops out. It's so pretty. My next book is A Song to Drown Rivers by Anne Leung. And that's all that we have. And it's expected to come out on January 1st. Next book is Song of the Six Worlds by Juni Ayolin. Zhu, a talented young musician, has no past and probably no future. Often at a young age, her kindly poet uncle took her in and arranged for an apprenticeship in one of the most esteemed entertainment houses in the kingdom. She doesn't remember much from before entering the house of flowing water, and when her uncle is suddenly killed and abandoned a tap, she is devastated to lose her last connection to her life outside of her indentual country. So that sounds fun, and it will come out on April 23rd. And she is the author of a Magic Steep and Poison duology. My next book is A Song of the Huntress by Lucy Holland. Britain, 60 AD, hoping to save her lover land and her people from the Romans, Helen makes a desperate pact with the king of the underworld. But years pass, unheeded in his will, and she escapes to find everyone she loved long dead. Cursed to wield his blade as she becomes lord of the hunt, and for centuries she rides weeping wanderer's souls, until the night she meets a woman on a bloody battlefield, Axax some queen, when ice blue eyes. So, and this is like, about the legends of at the beginning of ancient Britain. And this has come out on March 21st. My next book is Summer in the Deep by Tanami Burwa. 17 year old Chris and Dune is buried under the weight of a dead parent's death and the ruinous legacy they left behind. The only way she can earn enough money to escape her unforgiving island is by battling monstrous creatures in an underground fighting pit. After a fight goes terribly wrong, she is banned from the pits. Now hopeless, she is offered a deal. In exchange for evasion for her debts, she must join and protect her hunting party 
find excavation deep within the mining caves beneath Fairyland. And it comes out on January 9th. My next book is So Left and Bun by Camelia Cole. Rip Smart Animus. It is like a Jamaican inspired fantasy who follows a God's blessed humanoid who is forced to choose between saving her sister or protecting her homeland. And if you like Iron Widow and the Primary of the Orange Tree, you will probably like this book. And it comes out on January 16th. My next book is The Scorpion Queen by Mina Fears. Oh, this is actually 2025, March 4th, and that's all that we have. <laughs> Wrong pile. Wrong pile for this book. This book obviously is supposed to go to my 2025. Whoops, I got too excited. My next book is The Revenant Games by Mikey Houston. And this is like All of Us Villains Meets Kingdom of the Wicked. It's, it's an insane action-packed fantasy thriller. Following a teen determined to win the competition held by warring vampire and rich kingdoms, only to develop complicated feelings for the vampire she's supposed to hand over. And it comes out on March 19th. So I, I believe I have talked about this book quite a bit. It's A Phoenix Crown by Kate Quinn and Janie Shang. And we are following about the intertwined lives of two wrong women spanning from the chaos of the San Francisco earthquake to the glittering palaces of Versailles. Of Versailles. So it comes out on February 13th. My next book is Off With The Heads by Zohana Mikuta. And this is a Korean inspired Alice in Wonderland retelling about two very wicked girls forever bonded by blood and betrayal. In a world where states are monsters and Wonderland is the dark forest where they look, it's been five years since young witches and lovers, Kata Rabbit and Kata Daughter Alice the girl were both sentenced to that forest for a crime they didn't commit, and four years since they shed one another's hearts, each willing to sacrifice the other for a chance of freedom. And this comes out on January 1st. So it sounds exciting and I have never read anything Korean inspired by Alice Wonderland. But anyways, that's all that I have. So let me know if you like this and what books you're excited for in 2024. And please like, comment, and subscribe so you'll be notified every time I post. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye!